to physics. I know it's very physics-y in here. Um, normally, when people think about nature, they don't think of those numbers over there. Vf squared equals vi squared delta plus x equals half delta times, times vi. Ah, yes, one mile I equals one thousand velocity in meters, meters per second, of course. Bitch, I don't even know what this means. Why do we need to know that? Like, I'm just trying to get through my day. I'm just trying to like eat, go to sleep, you know, come back to school. Um, it is part of nature. It's analyzing it using quantitative data. What about uh, 9.8? Yeah, acceleration on Earth. It's crazy. Like, like who needs to know that? Uh, I mean, if you're taking physics, you do need to know that. But what does that mean? Like, what does that imply? Why do I need to know that number? And why do I have to take this class in order to better understand nature? However, the whole point of teaching all of this nature or like how to explain it is just to say, this heavy thing, droppy, go explodey, uh, go fast, boom, okay? I could say uh, this like 200 gram weight, it droppy, it go explodey, it, it uh, rolly. But that would make me look like an idiot. Like, like an idiot sandwich. So instead, I'm gonna pick this weight up and say it weighs 10 grams. It drops with elegance. Its initial velocity is zero meters per second. Here, you get to observe it for yourself. You get to see the 9.8 meters per second squared in action. But what if I do want to stay simple? Well, let's go outside and observe. Wanna say hi to the vlog? No. What? No. Alright. Well, it's not a vlog. It's a video essay or short film or something. I don't fucking care about to zone. Okay, so first of all, um, do you like being outside? Do I like tasting the nuts off of a tree? No, because I'm fucking allergic to it. And I am also allergic to outside. I said, do you like being outside? Yeah, I'm allergic to it. <laughs> <laughs> This is Juliet, and this is Chase. How do you feel about transcendentalism? Huh? How do you feel about transcendentalism? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember? No. You learned nothing in English class? It was the COVID. I see. That's I see. my excuse. Would you call this a natural lunch? Well, I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really hard to get out of the bed in the morning. I know tons of people feel the same way. We have a mental health crisis. And on top of that, I'm expected to work at a desk for like 10 hours a day doing homework and tests. Even though time is made up, how do you make time in the 24 hours a day you have to sleep and eat and go to school to just like be one with nature? While it's hard to please everyone in our lives, we need to treat ourselves like human beings and not robots. I just hope that I convinced you to maybe take a walk outside today. And of course, nature might mean a lot of different definitions to different people. I think the point of this video is to say, well, we can manipulate nature into numbers or processed food. But no matter how much I like tech and junk food, I will 
end up back in nature somehow. And I will end up finding that it's so relaxing to just take a walk or eat a salad because you want to hit a weight loss goal and not be bloated and ultimately find an alternative to bad habit that you have. I have a ton of them and it's just human nature. We just have to apply it to our own lives, find that balance and find our own definitions of nature. Having priorities and trying to maintain that balance really helps to restore my balance of other things like my grades and my relationships.